I read a couple of your blog posts. I, I, I like to get to know my guests before we start talking to them. Um, the, one of the things that I was super excited about hearing about was exactly the type, the, the, the subject of your YouTube channel, um, low carb and fasting combined with being a type one diabetic. That's the bit, that's the twist that we, we have, I haven't run into. Um, I, I think what I'd like you to, to talk about is how is this low carb and intermittent fasting approach to health and eating different for a type one diabetic? Well, um, the bottom line is it doesn't have to be different. I mean, for a type one diabetic, healthy lifestyle doesn't have to be different. Uh, there are precautions to be taken. Um, as, as you know, uh, type one diabetics are insulin dependent. And so constantly they have to adjust their insulin needs based on their activity levels. And, and also based on um, how much food or what food they're eating. So insulin levels need to be adjusted. So that's something that needs to be taken into account when a type 1 diabetic is doing intermittent fasting or extended fasting for that matter as I do and my blogs are on extended fasting. So insulin needs to be adjusted. Um, uh, during physical activity, for example, you might have either a drop um, or, or a rise depending on the type of exercise. Um, and also depending on, I mean, there are so many nuances there, but also depending on how much insulin you already have on board, because insulin injection it, that, that you inject remains in your system for a good three to four hours. So, uh, so that insulin uh, will also be working while you're doing aerobic exercise, for example, going swimming or walking. So the likelihood is that while you're going swimming uh, or walking and you have insulin on board already, you're going to have a sharp drop, which is in dangerous. your blood, in your you blood glucose. It will, you will have a drop in your blood glucose. So you have to avoid that. So, uh, so there are so many, um, complexities with, with management of type one diabetes. But if you have the confidence and the right knowledge and the right tools, you can do it. You can experiment and see what works for you. You must do it safely. And if you don't have the confidence, please do it with the help or advice of a physician physician but the right tools for me um uh if, if i can mention those i'm not yeah. uh, affiliated with any of those companies but the one of the tools that i use uh of course is my cgm this is the freestyle libre continuous uh, blood glucose monitor so that tells me continuously uh uh, my, what my blood blood glucose is. So I, all I need to do is use my phone and I just put it, hold it against the sensor. That's called the sensor. I can scan it and it shows my blood glucose. I don't have to do any finger prick testing uh, like I used to uh, before the CGMs came about. Uh, another important tool is um, my insulin pump. I currently use a tubeless pump. So instead of taking injections with uh, your, those uh, disposable syringes, gosh, I don't miss those anymore. Um, I've used them for years and years. Um, I use, I have a pump, so basically a monitor. This is the Omnipod pump. As I said, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, it's not the brand new version, but it does its job really well. So all I need to do is input how much food or what food I've eaten, mainly carbs. Um, and then it calculates based on the data that I've put into it, how much insulin I will need for it. And that insulin comes, uh, through a little patch that I have stuck. Currently, it's on my back, otherwise I would show it to you. So uh, you stick somewhere on your body and it has a tiny little reservoir in it and it contains about uh, three days worth of insulin. And uh, so this is the control uh, device. I just do all the uh, uh, sort of, I give it the input it needs and it calculates how much that little device stuck on my body should 
how much insulin it should deliver into my body. So these are these are the tools that I use, and that also give me the confidence to tweak my insulin needs based on whether I'm fasting or not, or whether I'm eating carbs or not, which I don't. Um, um, I mostly don't eat any carbs, uh, and based on my activity levels. Thank you.